Good morning, evening, afternoon. I'm Tato Hat. Welcome to my channel. Today we were playing Echoes, a loose knife in game previously. Um, we just wanted to buy some weapons from the cool new district's armory. And now we have this whole in license user's agreement thing. And uh, we're stepping away from that before we buy anything to, you know, see uh, what's going on with that before we make any rash decisions. And that's where we left off. Let's continue. I know Lemniscate filled their consumer electronics with spyware and surveillance devices, but I'm starting to get the impression that the same kind of fuckery is commonplace in their military as well. If anything, it's likely more common, considering the kinds of damages that could be done to Lemniscate through their own military equipment. A group like the ILF, if the group like the ILF somehow managed to get a hold of some. I've heard reports a Limney Skate advancing barrel mounted coil gun tech to a point where some of their weapons don't even need propellant to fire. As useful as it might be to have a long-range rifle with that kind of delivery system, I can't think of any way to use it safely or conveniently with all the bullshit without with all the bullshit they've no doubt included. Fortunately, I know someone who's more than capable of Removing said bullshit. Operative Lucid 9 to Lucid 1. You there, Commander? Oh, you there, Commander? Okay. I was like, is that period or? Yeah. Oh, so we're going to ask Emmy. You know it. What's up, Operative? Agent Hirga just greenlit us to request. Requisition additional gear from Limnisek, ma'am. I've heard they have some decent EM snipers and morph optics. Those could be an asset to the cell. If we pick some up, but I'm not sure if their security will meet the division standards. Not if you're intend not if you intend to comply with that biblical testament they call a license agreement. Yeah, that that was a bit lot. Fortunately, you don't have to. The chairman's given enough bribe money to DCIS that it's economically sound for Limney to let cells like us do whatever the hell we want with their weapon models. Is that safe, ma'am? Wouldn't be this cavalier about it if it wasn't operative. Nor would I let you walk around with that BR-500 judicator on your back. I know how it might sound, and I'd caution against it if I didn't. It w if I didn't, it was safe. Okay. But that agreement was written by Limisek, not DCIS. When the ladders there to make them comply be below board. They might as well be a bunch of harmless puppies. The only reason they keep serving that word salad is that it's scary enough to make their own people, the ISM and Black Star, do what they say without question. That, and nobody else is paying several trillion e each year to have them fuck off. 
You're free to pick up whatever you want, Operative. Just drop all of your Limnisec gear off at the Secure Electronics comm Commissary when you get back to 2. I'll have my people in the OSC take care of it. All you need to do is let them know Lucid 1 sent you to have them secure have the security checked. Will do, ma'am. Alrighty. Give me a shout if you need anything else. In the meantime, I gotta get back to this wizard tail marathon. Reports for the day are filed and crappy Ezra and Fuyu just woke up from a six year power nap. Lucid one out. The commander hangs up, exchanging no further pleasantries. Those were, um, interesting names. <laughs> I expected her to have more important things to do than sit down and watch anime, but at least she was honest about it. Nevertheless, she did give me the permission I needed, so I guess it's safe for me to start shopping. Alright, I guess I can start shopping now. Zoom, 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 zoom. Welcome, Operative. If you'd like to submit a requisition order, you may do so at any one of our automated kiosks once they become available. Cool. So I assume that's going to happen later in development. Okay. I wish I could see my money better. Purchase slash upgrade weapon. Maybe I need to buy ammo. Uh, I'm trying to find money. Account balance Japanese in. Is it 6,000? Uh, let's see if I can buy a weapon. But, uh, so BR8500. I got a pretty good amount of ammo for that. Or is that just telling me how much it, how, what the size is? No, that's telling me how much I have. Um... some of this. Uh, I guess I can't buy it. Okay. Um, weapons. A sniper rifle. If you favor engineering, engaging your targets at extreme range, the SR-700 Locust fires the fastest moving projectile in Limney Skate Sex Security Arsenal. And I can see my money. Cool. The coil gun technology within may reduce its rate of fire but if you care to requisition it you'll find that its superior handling and efficiency more than make up for it cool so it's slow but it's powerful 
Would you like to requisition the SR-700? Maybe later. Understood. Do you have any further business here? I'm assuming he's kind of like a dick because everyone here is probably a little bit like a dick. Um... Okay, what's this one? When laying down suppressive fire, many NIMSEC, DCIS, and ISM personnel would rather use the LMG-1000 mitigator, mitigator, there we go, mitigator, than whatever they have available. And the minority of those forces who do ha have often refused to use anything else. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I have like a little bit of a cough. So if you ever hear me go, Ugh, it's like because I'm trying not to cough. <laughs> the substantial price may dissuade you, but the mitigator is no ordinary light machine gun. Hmm. I do need some good machine guns. So maybe I will buy this one. If you look to requisition it, you'll have a chance of your own to experience its unrivaled power, handling, and accuracy. Would you like to requisition the... Uh, yeah. Transaction successful. You're now responsible for this weapon's use and maintenance. Do you have any further business here? Do I need to buy ammo for it? Uh, let's buy some ammo for it. Cool. Um, I'll see how I feel about this, this sniper rifle later. I mean, actually, no, we can buy the sniper rifle now. Let's, let's buy the sniper rifle now. Maybe it'll come in handy. Shoop, 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 shoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, purchase upgrade weapon. Uh, yeah, simple rifle. Yeah, I know. You told me all this stuff earlier. Should I buy some more grenades? I accidentally clicked on weapons today. There we go. Uh, missile, rocket launch, mitigator. Oh, I guess not. Okay. What services do you have here? I mean, I'm fairly certain I know what they all do, but, you know, whatever. As a major armory and requisitions de depot for Limney Skate Security, this facility is tasked with providing Limney Sec personnel and approved contractors with the advanced military equipment their positions make them eligible to access. Cool. Well, anyway, if you here, I have a cough drop in my mouth. <laughs> As a major armory in Rick. Uh, oh. Did I just read that? Uh, oops. Um, let's try that again. <laughs> There we go. No, I'm not going to edit that out. You guys get to see me mess that up. <laughs> In exchange for modest manufacturing, distribution, and licensing fee, you can requ requisition advanced weapons, powerful munitions, and battlefield consumables from us. 
provided your clearance from DCIS can be validated without issue. You can also requisition experimental cores, which, while expensive, can drastically improve the abilities of ever of even our most entry level defense products to state of the art corporate technology. For reasons beyond the purview of my station, DCIS has also allowed you to purchase some of their experimental anti-molecular grenades, as I have no data relevant to their safety and field testing, I would caution you to use those only as directed. Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't buy those, did I? Oh, maybe I did. Huh. Oh no. That's a core weapon. Um. Items and equipment. Redacted grenades. Energy support modules. Do I have energy support modules? I have 93. That seems okay. Uh. Sure. Let's let's get some scary grenades. What can go wrong there? Our faces melt off. Eh, it's fine. They'll just put a new one on our face. Alright. I think I got everything I need from here. And you know what? Didn't take the whole episode. <laughs> I thought it would. Okay, exit. Logging you out, operative. Um, I guess I gotta do the mission. Mission enter Limnus Gate HQ. Would you like to meet Agent Hirga outside Limnus Gate headquarters? Yeah, I don't got nothing else to do. Yep. I still don't really like any of these companies. Like, I would love it if I could just join the Birdsong Collective and wreck all their shit. Um, <laughs> they're all kind of assholes. Ah, uh, there you are. Are you prepared, Operative? Of course, Agent. As prepared as I'll ever be. She didn't say that, but that is what I'm thinking. We're ready to move whenever you are. Agent Hirga chuckles with a mixture of malice and condensation. Most definitely mispronounce that. Condensation, not condensation. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, I know that word, and my brain wants to say another word. Wonderful. Uh, I was like, yeah, she's not condensating. You still don't understand. Do you, Operative? There is but one individual here that the way that the warden seeks. Not your firearm. Not your comrade. Not your friends. And certainly not your cooperation. This audience has been granted to you. She sees your potential in the wisdom you hide, but she has no need for the others who fight your battles. 
This is between you and her. There is no we to the warden. There are no principles, no controlled variables, no rules by which to abide. There are only specimens. Pray that you are the only one she seeks, and pray that she will be entertained. Agent Hiraga gestures towards his owl. Operative Lucid 8, correct? I'm afraid you'll have to stay here. I understand, Agent. You'd be surprised by how often this happens, actually. Unless, of course, you've been paying extremely close attention to us, which is significantly more likely now that I think about it. He Sal turns to me. Be careful in there, Nine. Don't offer these people anything you can't afford to lose. As I follow Agent Hiraga through the doors of Limney Skate's headquarters, I'm involved by a harsh white glow. It's a pure, sterile light, as intense as it is all-encompassing. As if to hide something terrifying by investing the perfect distraction. As I pass under a massive rotating 3D projection of Lemony Skate's blue and purple logo, I take a moment to examine my surroundings in more detail. White. <laughs> A cluster of five transparent elevator shafts stands tall, the far side of the building, behind an oval reception desk the size of a living room. That's a big reception desk. The agent leads me past all of them, then through a narrow hallway that comes to a dead end. Dead, that is, until the floor begins to descend. Finally, no prying eyes, no distractions. Just you, Rui Hayata, or should I call you Operative Lucid Nine? I doubt it matters. Not here at least. In stark contrast to her former abrasive demeanor, Agent Hirga now looks genuinely interested in speaking to me. Well, I assume before she was kind of under surveillance and maybe now that she's not, she can be more human. I mean, like, Miki was like that too. Miki was being different until we were kind of alone. Too interested, in fact. Almost like she's trying to catch me with my guard down. Remembering the commander's advice, I decide to respond to her as underwhelmingly and unobtrusive as I can. I'd say either works. I gesture to the structures outside the elevator. Quite the underground base you've got here. Thank you, Operative. In case you awaited, in case you wanted to ask, but thought it inappropriate, this is a facility from which my organization observes the city and its people. District One might be home to the courts and the merit council. But this is Isamu's true seat of power. Those trusted enough hold a permanent position here are trusted 
to make the most dire and most necessary decisions of all. Some might liken this place to the retina of the typhoon, of the typhoon's eye, for this is the belly of the trillion-eyed beast, you know, as the Department of Corporate Intelligence and Security. What a creepy sounding monster. With a flourish, oh, with a flourish, I can't imagine her flourishing. With a flourish, Agent Hirga gestures to the scarlet machinery beyond the elevator's transparent walls. Welcome to District Zero, Operative. That's not its official designation, but it is difficult to be official about a place that doesn't exist, or business that doesn't exist, for that matter. And this is and isn't a place for neither and both. Well, how vague and Alice in Wonderland sounding. It's difficult to hinder something inscrutable, even more so to hold it inscrutable. No, to hold an inscrutable organization accountable. And in our line of work, a lack of accountability does wonders for efficiency. The Blueprint's technology identify it as faculty I keep saying faculty, facility zero, negative alpha six two two zero. But our server nodes share the same naming system. It reduces intracorporate intracorporate curiosity directed at this local at this locale to a minimum. It's not my intent to cause any offense, Agent, but are you sure you should be talking? Are you sure you should be telling me all this? Yeah, are we going to immediately get a bullet in our head now? Why do you ask, Operative? Just wanted to double check. Transparency is one thing, but self Endangerment for its sake of it is another. DCIS does good work, the kind of work that that's dangerous to hear about, if possible. I prefer to. If I prefer if you kept the details to yourself. With all due respect, Agent, this is an impressive structure, but I'd rather not hear about its boring if, oh, if it's going to kill me. Um, DCI says, yeah, I, guess I feel like this would apply to her. She would like this. DCS does good work. The kind of work that's dangerous for anyone else to hear about. If possible, I'd prefer if you kept the details to yourself. I respect your right to keep some of them secret, but I also respect our authority. I respect your authority. If you have a reason to share these details with me, I'd just like to ask that you make sure the risks associated with the discussing, the disclosing of them are acceptable. Is she going to hate me again? This time I feel kind of mad about them so I can go back and choose the right one if it's going to make her hate me. A fair request, Operative. It's necessarily, it's necessity is questionable. But I suppose 
that in the spirit of cooperation, the least I can do is honor it. Rest assured, I wouldn't be telling you any of this without the warden's permission. In fact, she's the only DCIS official with enough authority to grant anyone access to District Zero. If she did not specifically request, I would never have led you here to begin with. See, because sometimes it takes a while to get there. Well, actually, I guess we'll see if she hates us or not in the next episode. Um, yeah, so hopefully that choice doesn't make her hate us. If not, then I'll just go back and choose something else. It's fine. We shall see.